Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering an email that I received from a viewer. Let's go ahead and read the email and then I'll do the best I can to give an answer. So the person's name is Aman and the question reads as follows. Hi, this is Aman from India and I am a high school student. I'm having very bad days. I was very good at maths one or two weeks ago and I got good grades. I was the topper in maths. But in this one or two week, something has changed. I'm not able to solve any questions, not the simpler ones also, and I am so depressed regarding this that I can't solve any problem. My friend is able to solve every problem, even the harder ones. This is making me very depressed, and I'm feeling just like to throw all the mathematics books and just quit maths, but I can't. I have an eternal love for maths, but I don't know why I'm not able to do anything. Please. It's a request to just give me some tips regarding this by replying me on my email or anything else, but please help me. Wow. Okay, so um, Aman, my advice would be um, don't give up, right? Clearly you have uh, you know, a passion for math. You said uh, you want to throw all your math books away and quit maths, but you can't. Don't, right? Don't. It's normal. It's normal to have periods where you're just not productive. It's called burnout. I mean, I think that could be what's affecting you. I mean, I've had situations where, um, you know, I'll work on math for a while and I'll just hit a roadblock. Like I won't be able to do anything. I had that happen uh, as an undergrad and in grad school, right? I would reach points where I just wasn't really able to focus. And I found, at least in my personal experience, I don't know if this will help you, that taking a break uh, is what did it for me. Um, you know, going outside, going for a walk, doing something else, you know, playing some video games. I mean, I mean, just doing something besides math because, you know, math, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of effort, you know, and I, I think sometimes you just need a break and you're only in high school. I mean, you're so young. I mean, you have your whole life ahead of you. The fact that you're doing math now and you have math books, I mean, that is huge. I mean, that is really, really huge. I didn't start math really until I was in my 20s. Um, so I think it's really impressive that you're doing all the math you're doing now. You didn't specify what you were doing, but you said you were the best uh, until just a few weeks ago. So it's only been a few weeks. I mean, I think you're going to be fine. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you're really good at math and you're just having like a little bit of a rough patch. So I would not worry about it at all. Uh, my advice would be to just take a little break, go do something else, and then I think when you come back to it, you'll be refreshed. Also, another piece of advice would be to try to work on math that's a little bit different from what you're doing in school. Like try to do something different that's not related to grades. Uh, for some reason, uh, myself and I think many other people, whenever we do math solely for the sake of doing math, when there's, when there's no grade attached, when there's no pressure, we tend to perform better. Um, it's just... People like doing whatever they want. And if you want to do math and you do it, you're doing whatever you want and you'll learn it better. So that's my advice for you, Aman. If anyone else has any tips or advice for Aman, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.